Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how to get a Zoom API for Moodle. So first thing you're going to do is uh, write in Google search engine Zoom API. And then you've got a long explanation here. But what you need to do is simply go into an account. Get an account and then go into Create App. The Create App is next to My Apps. I've got two apps. Okay, and there's Create App. What you need to know, and let me take you to my app. If uh, we're talking about Moodle, okay, you need to uh, first of all sign in or sign up depending on whether you have an account or not. Okay, and I'm in. Next, I'm going to go into Manage. Okay, and these are my three, okay, apps. So uh, to create an app, you simply um, click on the Create app, okay, build an app. Okay, but before that, let me go into this app. See, it's only in draft form. I haven't gone through with the process, but you need to uh, get the redirect, and the redirect has to be correct for you. So you go into build an app under desktop, and then JWT. So you click on it. See, I've got one, so uh, I'm not going to see the create, but you will be able to see the create click on it and then you write the name of your app so uh, this could be test one okay I'm just gonna write test and then uh, level choose the app type okay it's going to be um, by the admin would you like to publish this app on zoom app marketplace that's up to you and then you click on create okay next what you need to do is you need to add your client Okay, so uh, we go into developing a new app. Okay, so again, build. I'm not going to use this one, even though that's the one you need to do. I'm just going to do another one. Okay, so I'll write the name of the app. Okay, again, sorry, test one. And then uh, count level app. Then I'm going to wait. And that's it. That's as fast as it goes. But remember to write the redirect URL. So let me show you my app so you get an idea. Okay, then you continue and everything is saved. Event subscription chats, okay, account level. So let's go into manage. <clears throat> so you see, you get an idea what it looks like. The name, you can have a short description. The company, if you wish, you don't need to. My name, and then um, privacy, support URL if you have that, and then that's it. Okay, that's as easy as it is. So try it and let me know. Um, okay, here's view the. JWT, that's what you're getting for your Moodle. Okay, an expiration time. Okay, and it works. All right, everything really, really works. And in order to show you how it works, let me take you to my Moodle. Okay, you need to install Moodle. So if I go into admin, I'm going to uh, go into install. So uh, you go into plugin, plugins, I'm going to install Zoom from. Um, moodle.org or you can save it and choose the file here so uh, I'm sure you'll know how to do that next let me go into a course to show you how it works in a course so I'm going to choose a course okay first thing you do is turn editing on to do that and then you go into a section let me just choose a section here this is a course that's uh, complete nobody can enroll it all right next I'm going to go into add an activity just like any other activity this is a Moodle activity open it up and then it goes according to alphabetical order okay notice I also have WizIQ and I have BBB which comes well you need to install it all right so let's go into zoom you need to have a paid uh, the basic pay for a zoom account I'll write the topic I'm gonna call it test description I don't need uh, the time I'm gonna make it for now Okay, so uh, the 20, and then, okay, I'm going to have everything off. Okay, save and display. Okay, that's how it goes, and then I'm just going to start the meeting because this is the right time. Until the meeting time is ready, you'll see that nothing here. It won't say start meeting. It'll say that starting, and that's it. Here comes Zoom. Okay, so I usually stop the recording at the beginning until everybody has joined the meeting and I'm ready. Okay, so uh, that's uh, Zoom for you. If you're interested in knowing how to use Zoom, it's quite easy. 
let me know and I'll be happy to help. So that's it. Let me just uh, end the meeting so you get an idea what it looks like when you end it. Okay, so I'm going to end the meeting. All right, and uh, let's go back to the Moodle and see what it looks like over here. Okay, it's still start meeting, even though I ended it, so it may take some time. Uh, the recording won't appear. The meeting will stay. You'll have to delete it in your Zoom account. Now, what's interesting here is that this meeting will also appear in your Zoom account. So let's go into Zoom, into my Zoom account, and log in. My account is open, I see, which is great. Usually it's not. Okay, and I'm go going to go into Meetings. There we are. And notice it appears here too. So I can start the meeting from here, or I can start it from the Moodle, and I can also share the information with my audience. Okay, this is the link that will copy the invitation. So that's it, Zoom. Love it.